I'm, I'm, I fear we're in danger of getting a kind of going down a, a, a bit of a sinkhole on this one. But I mean, I think you just said the government voted this down. That that's strictly not true, is it? Because the vote was what's a free vote, wasn't it? It wasn't a whipped vote. The, the, the MPs voted on the new motion to do with Owen Paterson. So it wasn't a government decision, well, was it? It was a vote by MPs. Even Larry the Cat knows Boris Johnson ordered his MPs to vote to rip up the standards rules to save one of his own from a 30-day ban. And this is just part of an overall pattern of behaviour on the part of the Prime Minister which should terrify all of us. When Johnson was thwarted in his attempt to undermine our very democracy by unlawfully suspending Parliament, he immediately instigated steps to strip the judges who ruled against him of their powers to review government decisions. Just weeks after it launched an investigation into his controversial flat refurbishment, Johnson announced his government would strip the Electoral Commission of its power to prosecute lawbreaking. When the standards chief found Home Secretary Priti Patel had broken the code governing ministers' behaviour, Johnson just rejected his findings. Can anyone see a pattern here? Johnson himself has serially broken the ministerial code by misleading Parliament and then refusing to correct the record. He presides over a government that has repeatedly broken the law. When Johnson doesn't like the rules, he just changes them for his own purpose. This is a Prime Minister who has previously whipped cowardly MPs to vote to break international law and now wants to break the Brexit deal he agreed and signed less than a year ago. How about just once, just once pointing this out to viewers? 